Yeah, this picture also was involved in MK Ultra. And uh, there was a funny stuff I was told about this picture. For this picture, I was told that it's worth I don't know how much money and stuff like that. And uh, so that if I would not take one, uh, that it would be my sister that would take one. I'm not very easy on everything being stolen from the house because everything was stolen from the house. Whatever pertained to grandfather uh, on the father's side, everything was stolen from the house. When it comes to my grandmother, I don't even know It's basically on my mother's side. I don't actually even know what exactly to ask for. I did not recognize this picture, which was involved in MK Ultra, until just right now. And police instructed me to even separate this apart and look exactly what is inside of the frame. They claim that this picture was even a gift from the British royals. But this was a Slovenian police who claimed this stuff. Uh, I think they claim for a lot of things that it pertained to them basically just to harass, to intimidate, to bully, not even to make me paranoid, but you know, just deliberately basically to, to drive one insane. I think this was their, the main thing, yeah? So let's see what exactly the police had on the mind about this picture let me see this Put this here this picture is already downstairs probably three years on the same spot but it was in the frame uh, for whatever reason i don't even know what the reason is somebody have uh, separated the whole thing open it up from the frame took one from the frame out and i'm about to see what the exactly is inside in here what exactly was it that police was so excited about in other words so we got this thing here Just, I don't see anything so really special about it. All through it can be seen much, much clearer, the whole thing. Right, it can be more clearly video recorded, this stuff. To me, it looks like a postcard of some kind. I don't know what uh, is going on with the camera. Why is it that I just, yeah, I'm gonna plug this thing on. To see if I get that shadow away from it. Huh. I really do not know what to think about this picture except it's uh, dirty.
don't know what to make out of it. There is nothing inside, like police suggested. Nothing really is in there. There you go. Nothing, nothing is written, nothing is anywhere. So I'm gonna close this back. And uh, voila. Why did this came out of the frame? It's an interesting thing. That's an interesting one. That's supposed to be, according to the police and even according to the British royals, to the William, there's some kind of postcard or whatever that was given by the Prince Charles. And uh, there should be like a fingerprints on one, in that sense. But somebody took her out of the frame. Let me demonstrate you. Somebody took one out, which I was told the case is going to be uh, if... <laughs> Obviously, I will not be, in a parenthesis, nice. You know? I am obviously I'm not nice, so I deserve it. Uh, me give a fuck not about the fingerprints if there are fingerprints in there. I don't care. Who cares about the fingerprints? I don't give a three fuck about the fingerprints. There are my fingerprints all over the Buckingham Palace, all over the window or uh, castle. There are my fingerprints all over the all over the Britain. There are videos and audios of me throughout the Britain that exist. And these videos and audios, if nowhere else, they're stored inside of my head. Nobody cares about this shit. It was here. It was inside in here. And this was here like this. It was inside. And then, uh, mysteriously, uh, that's what's interesting. Mysteriously, uh, it finds its way out. And you can see that somebody throw all kinds of shit here. So, probably placing this thing back in here, it's not going to do any good. For whatever reason they have done to it. It could have been the police that did this. Who the hell knows? Uh, but who the good, who gives a fuck about it? I don't care about it. Have I ever said that I want to meet these people? Not really. Nowhere else other than in the court. Yeah, in a in a head of somebody that could be like, oh wow. But in this is oh wow, not. Yeah, this was this was my sister who stated. She stated, "Well, uh, you know, if you will not take here this picture uh, with what is now King Charles, if you will not take here this supposedly came in the house, probably ninety six, something like this, and." Uh, the police made the show, I should say Charles made the police make show that the stuff is not allowed, 97 I would say, uh, that the stuff is not allowed, that, and he was like, he has a special relationship. Uh, the thing is that he stated that uh, if you will not take care of that, I will tell the sister to just uh, remove that. And it was my sister who stated, well, if... Uh, it's not the family thing, according to MK Ultra, and uh, my sister stated, that "If you will not take care of that, I will take this with me." And she showed me the strawberries and that kind of stuff. Um, she can have it. That's all there is to it. I pity people that bother with the stuff like this. I pity people like this. That's a pity. There is a fingerprints all over 
there is a fingerprints all over this picture and there have been a pen that is being used a special kind of pen that you can write with but you can only see uh, under the certain brightness under the certain frequency under the certain uh, light that kind of pen you can have that picture I don't give a fuck the picture is priceless the picture is priceless and if you will not as such full of fingerprints and even writing except uh, you will get nothing I will deny the claim these are all the words pertaining to this exact shit right there that you have seen from what is now King Charles so that's a really pity isn't it I mean you have to be really pathetic to inform somebody like myself to go and advertise yourself like this I think it's a pity I think it's really really pathetic I think it's how pity you have to be how pitiful do you have to be how little little boy you little fuck do you think about yourself I mean based on whom you judge me oh you little poor fucking thing you take that shit wherever you want i don't actually want to see it anymore i don't care what it is Ugh. yeah if i was charles yes yes if i was charles yes but i'm not i actually find it extremely bizarre for uh, slovenian police to uh, attempt to trigger this issue Obviously, British King Charles, and this was triggered by the police. This here is what police investigator who was involved in it. Met me at Velike Brusnice in 2022, stated uh, he will do. We'll put something here inside so this thing will find its way out. Uh, I have to. I am forced to actually, I am compelled to keep this garbage to myself till police is going to examine one, not because of the fingerprints, but because of the police itself, the police itself involvement in it. Uh, that's why police, a present police director of police station was involved in it, the young man uh was involved in it and uh this is why i i am actually forced to keep this till this stuff it's gonna be completed is this worth anything to me this is garbage this is a trash what was worth something to me in fact was uh, american citizenship which i obtained in 2000 that was something really really worthy and when it comes to this stuff here, obviously British royals believe that if you dump this kind of stuff uh, and talk about the friendship and stuff, that possibly you can make some, at least some kind of confusion. Like we offered him something, we offered him an alternative or something. Look, dude. Uh, British Royals plundered Miami, where I immigrated, immediately upon immigration to the U.S. in 95, since they couldn't get me to Germany. And they started with a torture in Canada. They didn't waste no time in 95, 96, 97, 98, demanding from me to relocate myself from Miami to Canada. Uh, sometimes in 2000, they started to guarantee me that I will not make it in the United States. They would go 98, they started to intimidate, suggest that I should just go home back to Slovenia. 
that I will not make it in the U.S. In the future, they're going to make sure that uh, I will not make it though in the U.S. Filthy stuff. Important to remind when you insert garbage like this in MK Ultra procedure, which I ran at this point investigation. I'm just going to remind you of the filthiest stuff you have done against me. Then eventually they campaigned to get me out of for Putin, for Alexander Vucic, for Milan Kuchan, to get me out of the United States of America through the forced unemployment. In 2000, I became a citizen of the U.S. In 2006, I left because it was unbearable. The unemployment, they destroyed my career in law enforcement. I wanted to become a law enforcement officer. Instead, they destroyed me, my life completely. So, that in... In 2012, I could be thrown into the psychiatric hospital in Ljubljana, Polje, in Slovenia. So that uh, I have to remind you of this stuff like this. Uh, I find it, uh, it should be, should be low to... What are you trying to do, I mean, with this shit here? You want me to talk about shit like this? When you annihilated, you erased my life, destroyed me, get me killed. And you want me to talk about the shit like this, sweet stuff like this. Okay, I will talk about it, but I will remind people about my blog. Go ahead and search for the stuff I have right now described. Uh, look what exactly the procedure for psychiatric hospitalization was from British Royals, who engineered even hospitalization. King Charles, who supposedly was rated as mentally ill by his own family, went on to admit for what he did was not a healthy thing. But I have to prove one and so on and so forth in 2012. Go ahead, read the blog. If that's, that's what you want, you want to keep bringing the shit like this on the surface, go ahead. Supposedly, yeah, supposedly that this is what, what King Charles left here. Um, and what about if this would be a King Charles that would leave this here, on top of everything I have stated here? What about them? Um, you know what this shit is? This shit is a continuation of the battery theft, of the car battery accumulator theft. Now they want me to probably fight with the sister whenever she's going to make it home. She never made it home. She's at her own place, so... No, no, the thing is that I'm not interested in with anybody. Moreover, more on the top of the stuff that I stated, the British are trying to obviously to cover up through the Slovenian police. That's what this is, That's I don't, I don't see it. They are looking to get something, some kind of statements against me and so on. Take the fucking picture or whatever the fuck you want. I don't care about your fucking picture. But you're not going to be stealing me battery from the car. You're not going to be doing that kind of stuff to me. the fucking British low life. You give somebody some kind of present and something and then you want the video on this shit.
You little fucking trash, London trash. You fucking waste, you shit little way. What else did uh, this so-called King Charles stated to me? He stated to me, if it's not going to be the card, if I will not accept the card from him, he will not admit, he will not recognize the case. He will not admit anything about the case. And this is the thing. Who cares? Who cares about what King Charles admits or King Charles doesn't admit? It doesn't matter. This world is not made out of Charles. This world is not made out of British. For one thing I'm going to say to you, you have to go so low. And you just cannot restrain this criminal in your country that you elected at the top of the pyramid of your system. If you, if you already went so low, you have to go so low. British royals, politicians, they incited Slovenian police in use of silicon masks, not only to protect their own identity, in other words, involvement, real identity, involvement in this extermination procedure. Huh? Because if you get somebody and you prove that he was using a silicon mask of you. Thus, you must be innocent, right? And that's how low this shit went. They dreamed about artificial intelligence that's going to bail them out. I have not seen shit like this yet in my entire life. Nothing like this yet. There's people that embrace British royals thinking that there is something good about it, there's something better coming for the world. They were behind Windows 10. Everything that's negative about Windows 10. Literally. Financed, paid for self-sabotage from Microsoft. They are the one that pay for things that are functional to be dysfunctional. If you're excited about British royals or if you, if you like it so much, if you think that something is so great about these people, they pay for it. So you don't have it. And when something is good and it's free, they licensed absolutely everything that you see software on the online, on the internet. All the movie makers, all the stuff, everything that was available, the stuff. They fuck it up everything through entire internet, whatever you would want to use. Licensed, you want to repair your videos and so on. Paid people eventually buy the people out to close their companies and put their own people to sell whatever other people develop and so on. If you're excited about this stuff. This is a misery. And I don't want to remain in this state of mind for the rest of my life, going over the crime which Slovenian police raped me with and countering them in every step, but it's extremely criminal. I find this issue to be extremely criminal, not provocative, but extremely mentally ill issue that you brought on the surface. That's why I took time to give you another gift, more time, more electricity, more everything, so that that, that stuff can be locked too. That's what the fuck you're doing. You're clustering, you're cluster fucking everything, you are the best as cluster fucking the world. Misrepresenting the truth, jamming cluster fucker, cluster, cluster fucking the whole world. As you are definitely the best at. And that's what you hired Slovenian police for. <clears throat> the message 
behind that garbage from Prince Charles, King Charles now. Was that if I would not accept that picture, it was actually a really, really, really mentally ill message. And British royals hired Slovenian police also to use silicon masks so they could not be video and audio recording stain to me the stuff in the face that they afterwards imitated indirectly suggested and reminded in their own surroundings or even inside of this house whenever they came that's where they hired them that's where you get authorization as a police officer to use a silicone mask of somebody like charles andrew whatever Otherwise, nobody ever, not even a single politician, dared to use anyone's silicon mask without complete authorization, without complete agreement. <clears throat> I'm gonna cross that word agreement. I'm gonna correct one with only whatever they ordered, only whatever they ordered, only if it was an order, special order from the United States of America, and I participated in this kind of stuff. They communicated through the computer. They, at times, gave them the stuff that they wanted to relate to me and so on, whatever they wanted to. And I had Slovenian people do this stuff here. You get it? That's all it is to it. To protect their identity, totally protect their identity. This is what the silicon masks were used for. Otherwise, no, nobody dares to do stuff like that. This you're talking about the police. You're not talking about some strictly police, strictly police, strictly, absolutely, strictly everything enforced by the police, by the state, by the government. So and it's too small shit, especially to fuck with this kind of issue when it comes to British royals or American politicians. I'm sure you're aware of it. Now I'm looking for this kind of problems. They do whatever the fuck they're told this. This is the last shit in the universe. When it comes to other governments, they comply. So if I have to say this, yeah, he stated to me, if you will not take this picture, most likely your sister will, and she will have a beautiful memory on you. That's why you're going to the psychiatric hospital where you will die because there will be nobody anymore out there to bail you out. So I don't understand any of it, whatever the fuck I was told, I don't, I don't get it. My English is just different. I never was inside of the psychiatric hospital. I don't know nothing about psychiatric hospital. I told you about this stuff. Whatever you accomplished, you accomplished through the violence and it doesn't matter. You threw me behind some place where you stopped me with the drugs, claiming that something is wrong with me, that I'm mentally ill. And that's all there was. There was no way I could defend myself from the police, from the firemen, from the prison where you threw me inside to do the stuff like this. There was nobody, I was just by myself. And nobody responded when I contacted European Union and all other officials at the United Nations requesting assistance. Nobody gave a three fuck about me. At the US State Department. Nobody cared about anything. It was like Slovenia is some country out, out, I don't know where the fuck. Like it's not inside of the European Union. The answer was the same as if it would be in Yugoslavia which was not inside of the European Union, from the U.S. State Department, from 
Department of Justice from Department of Foreign Affairs from American Embassy in Ljubljana and so on. Despite that citizenship I got in 2000. So I don't know what is it that you want with that picture. Fuck you. Fuck you in that picture. I don't know what you thought you're going to accomplish with that picture, but does it get any lower than that? Can you be can you be lower than that? Can you go lower than that? And the police bag him to not deliver this to Slovenia anymore. It was a, such a sweet gift. Sweet gift. It was so sweet. A fucking postcard. You know? Was it better than the postcards from my asylum? Where I somehow managed to write even that I couldn't. That I had difficult writing. That I had a difficulty to sit. Not only stand up on my feet. And move jaws. Based on the stuff I just described right now, I have a message for King Charles. You're just a sick motherfucker. You're crazy. You're a sadistic psychopath, a sadistic maniac, a butcher, a war criminal, butcher, swine, human swine that is just get the satisfaction out of causing people harm, torture, injury. This is who you fuck you are, you fuck. That's what you are. That's my message for you. If you wanted to get this kind of toxic message, because that message is toxic. So maybe you wanted this kind of message. Maybe you want this is how you communicate with the people that you torture. This is your way to communicate, is to eat their heart, basically. That postcard dates to 97, you fucking fuck. British shit. Today is 2024 and you pride yourself how you were smart all along, right? I say like smart. Backstabbery, treachery. It's fucking great, man. Or maybe you want to use the opportunity to prove that it was not you. Either way, I'm going to say fuck you. There is absolutely nothing in this world that you can prove me. Not even the courts can prove me anything. Whatever the punishment you're going to get, you little fuck, in this world, is not going to convince me that you got whatever you deserved. That's why. You and your family. They enjoyed, since I was little, since I was a little boy, for my parents to waste money on me and watch me watch my stuff being destroyed in front of my eyes or stolen that's what this shit was always doing her best to make one mentally ill and despite all this at my age 52 they have not managed to accomplish absolutely anything i'm more literate i'm more mentally strong than all the royals together what a bunch of fucks what a pity for the British to have shit like this at top of the state, represent them around the world, to serve the shit like this, for which you never know when it's gonna backstab you. Sadness to take shit from shit like this, without any say. It's not my business what you do in Britain, but this is not Britain. I'm not British. There is nothing British about me. I was trying to do my best for Britain, but it was no good. That's exactly what I was hated and resented for. The British royals claimed me all along. They claimed me, the British royals claimed me that uh, maybe they're not going to have a chance to save me. There could be that other instance they could not be capable to, to save me. 
And I was asking, how the fuck would that be? Well, and that would be if I would hate them. That would be if I would dislike them. That would be if I would uh, not accept them. That would be if I would, they never say resent them, resent the word they didn't use. Or maybe they did, but they did this stuff in a such a way that it would be always resting upon my shoulders, so diplomatic, so lawyer written, everything, they have lawyers. They don't use the F word, they use a simple language like I do. They're educated people. There only would be, they absolutely would come to the rescue. There only would be one instance they could not. And that's basically if I would hate them. If I would reject them. And the stuff that you have seen goes far beyond that. It goes far beyond hatred. It goes far beyond anything that lunacy. from lexicon suggests because the MK Ultra is such a procedure that you have to analyze the abuse that took place against you it's more it's upgraded it's deluxe of abuse of torture it doesn't end with the torture it ends with you writing on a computer and recording the stuff law enforcement agencies ignoring you Agencies which obviously they establish, or agencies obviously they own, such as United Nations, Amnesty, European Court for Human Rights, and so on. Rejecting you, denying you, not seeing you, not recognizing, not recognizing your claim, but denying you, you actually exist. Yes, there only would be that one instance that would not help me, right? Sounds familiar? This, uh, this garbage most likely is nothing that my sister, you know, my dear sister was so excited about this. They, the sister cooperated in this stuff and it was like, if you don't want, I want. And if you don't want it, you already know what it means. I will keep one dear to my heart because this will be departure to the psychiatric hospital. So this shit is not toxic. This shit is not sick. Really? I don't give a three fuck about this stuff. This is garbage that police planted here. But the one responsible for this stuff definitely are British royals. These are the people who campaigned at the US Congress, at the White House and the US Congress to get my citizenship, American citizenship destroyed. These are the people because of whom I was hijacked from United States of America to Slovenia for entire 13 years, as well as across the Europe to Slovenia, wherever I file political asylum. It doesn't mean, it doesn't mean this stuff here to me anything. This is worthless to me, this stuff here. It's toxic. I am just glad to, to give you an example of what kind of lunacy was enforced during MK Ultra and what goes around the house, inside of the house. And I think I did a really, really good job. And those that do MK Ultra will recognize this as totally legitimate. This is how abuse during MK Ultra is done. It doesn't mean to me shit, this thing here. This most likely is not written anything on, in the back, whatever they suggested it is. I don't care. I don't really give a shit about it. This stuff, I remember when they framed this stuff. I remember when they framed this stuff, when they put this stuff in the frame, so it will be in the frame, because they claim it's from the King Charles, and I don't know what. So, but the King Charles and the British royals, they cannot help, right? They cannot help. They cannot help.
52 years of my life, they destroyed, they ruined, they annihilated, they wiped out, erased. They obliterated me from the face of earth for 52 years. And they cannot help. How can they help? They cannot help in this situation. That's what King Charles claimed. Cannot help. I cannot help you. As much as I want to help you, Prince Edward, Michael, Andrew, as much as we want to help you, as much as we want to help you, as much as we want to help you, there's something seriously wrong with these psychopaths. And the blame is yours. The blame is on the British. You are guilty for this stuff. You are the one who did this stuff. You brought them here.